Well hi to the wonderful world of everybody. I haven't posted for a good couple of weeks. Um, I'll be honest, the first time I just forgot and I'd had a meeting, well a session with James and that was just kind of on nutrition. To be honest it felt a bit pointless because everything he was telling me I was already doing. He was going through a diet plan and saying oh you need to be eating this and doing this and this that and the other and I was like oh yeah okay I brought up a table I was like yeah this he was like oh yeah that'd be real if you add in this or just do this and I was like right that that's me not writing one for you that is my current diet and on the diet and training hard so proud to say this I lost half a stone there's a pair of shorts I've got them on now right these ones here right <laughs> yeah like just before I started doing the whole diet stuff I put them on and I was like no this don't fit I've got fat but I'm sorry that just excites me quite a lot um, but another reason why I haven't been around I've been ill so last Saturday night I kind of started off with a bit of a sore throat and I had a fever and I've had tonsillitis quite a lot in my life so I can just be like look in the mirror and be like oh shit I've got tonsillitis but anyway so Sunday I had a fever and a sore throat and all the rest so I went to the doctors on Monday the doctor just went yeah you've got tonsillitis so I was like hey so I haven't been training because I've not been very well and today's the first day where I'm actually like yay I don't feel like crap I'm really melodramatic when I'm ill like really like speak to my best mate Alex who's actually doing Tough Mudder with me uh, he's just had so many soppy texts it's ridiculous um, but I'm back I'm bad I'm fighting fit I have been eating however a lot of junk food just because I've been feeling sorry for myself last Wednesday was it last Wednesday? Not yesterday, but the week before, I um, reward, re rewarded myself with some cake from Valerie Patisserie, which was very nice, because on the Tuesday, I think it was, there's a thing that, I should have got this ready, there's a thing which James makes me do when I'm training, it's where you do, I'll show you it, it's a circuit, I don't know if you can see that there. Which do 10 pull ups, 10 deadlifts, 10 press ups, 10 squats, 10 floor wipers, 10 clean and press, then 10 pull ups. So that's the first set, and it goes on and it kind of changes as you can see by the numbers changing in the crosses and this, that, and the other. First time I did it, 32 minutes by. Like, timing it. Next couple of times we're like getting a bit better. Next time, 25 minutes 20. Right, okay. This is why I record, rewarded myself with cake because I was so excited about this fact. A week on Tuesday. Oh, what's that? 21 minutes 17. So, training's going great. I swing around on the A frame in the gym quite a bit, just like having a good odd laugh. Although, James did put me in the big boy gym, like just the free weights and I wasn't having a good session on the Wednesday and I was just having a bit of a tantrum and I couldn't be bothered and I was tired so he kept making me like do stuff and be like no you don't like come on you can have half an hour just to, to yourself and you're getting paid He's like no that's not what you pay me for like, but anyway diet's quite boring it's very similar every day but if it's helping me lose weight and training's good fun and I need to stop eating the junk food again because that's not going to help my body and I'll just get fat I can't believe I lost so much weight and I can't believe like I went from barely being able to close these shorts to having so much room in them I'm not sure how much I'll be able to do on Tough Mudder but it's going to be a massive personal achievement for me and I've been in a bit of a mood about paddling and coaching and loads of stuff that's been kicking off there. That has been within the past year. And I've been on a really big down from that. But 
if I can do this, I can get over paddling, I can get over so much stuff. And I was literally about this close to quitting. And then one of my mentors, one of my coaches kind of fixed it all. Really hard to explain, but we talked through loads of stuff. And he was like, you can't do this, you can't throw away everything. And I was like, nah. But anyway, so going back to work tomorrow. I didn't skype work today, I'll tell you now, I had a day off. I have been off work. But if you were to have seen me on the other days, then you'd have probably just kind of recoiled in disgust. I have just been in quarantine. I'm going downstairs for cups of tea. Hershey small one, I'm even still on penicillin right now, which kind of sucks. <sighs> Keep again, but I need to take them. You need to finish the course. Not just tough mudder, the meds. But anyway. Um, if you could, guys, it is literally about five weeks, so many days left till I do it. And please go to my Just Giving page. Please do what you can. Really appreciate it. It's going towards the charity Mind, which is the mental health charity. Which, seriously, it's something that really needs supporting. As well as that, if you could go to my Facebook page, Rach Does Tough Mudder. Uh, there's not been so much stupid stuff going up lately in the past couple of weeks. But hopefully, there should be some stupid stuff coming up. Mischief is being planned. What? Ha ha ha. Um, so go to that. <laughs> Check it out. And like, subscribe and share. And I hope everybody's doing well with their training. Can you tell that I've just been cooped up in my room for like the past five days? It's driven me mental that I now have so much energy that I'm better. <laughs> so. But I have got training soon. Not sure when. And ta-ta for now. Bye guys.